Okay, guys, so how much food do you actually need? This is a big question. So this this is, I'm going to give you guys some numbers here. This is from, uh, what's the name of this website? Happypreppers.com. I'm going to put the link down in the description, and I'm going to put this these numbers down in the description so you all have that, and you can print it out or look at it. Now it says in here that this is for one person, and so that we're supposed to multiply this out for the amount of people that we have. And this is ridiculous. This is this is a lot of food. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not on board with this, and I'll explain why as we go through each thing, and I'll give you my numbers on how I can calculate all this. The first thing on here is they say 400 pounds of grain per person. Now uh, keep in mind this is a one-year food pantry is what we're building. Um, 400 pounds of grain, so this corn, oats, rice, wheat, per person per year. Um, now, if you look at corn, dried corn is about 1,700 calories per pound. Obviously, you can change in the variety and everything, the quality, but about 1,700 calories per pound. So that means that if you were a 2,000-calorie per day diet, you're getting almost all of it out of 365 pounds of corn a year. So you definitely don't need 400 pounds per person. You really don't need 365. So if you were to, to to say, okay, I need to get, what, a quarter of my diet from grains, you know, depending on how we look at it, you know, uh, let's just, but let's just say a quarter of my diet from grains, then we need 100 pounds per person. So 400 pounds is more like a family of four or a family of five. Okay, next on the list is 20 pounds of meat protein. 20 pounds of meat protein per person. It's a little bit less than a half pound. Okay, so they say 20 pounds of meat protein per person uh, per year. And that's, generally people underestimate how much meat they go through. And so, but but that's probably not that far off because let's just say we did a family, no, no, that is pretty far off. A family of five then would be, um, would be 100 pounds. That's so like a half a hog. Our family of five goes through two hogs and a cow a year, and, and most families underestimate how much meat. So I think this is grossly underestimating how much meat, maybe how much meat that you absolutely have to have. But uh, anyways, it's uh, that, that's that's pretty far off. You need more meat than that. Um, I would say like you, you need several times that much meat. Um, Okay, so 20 pounds of fats and oils per person. This one I did kind of the math out on. This actually seems about right because when you think about it, they're kind of balancing like cooking and baking and everything. And so we look at, we use three fats of the house, right? We use lard, butter, and uh, olive oil. And so um, when I did kind of the math out on this uh, before I did this video, it looked like that those, those fats and oils were about right for how much we go through in a year. So 20 pounds of fats and oils per person uh, seems to be adequate. So... Um, keep that in mind. Now they add in here 75 pounds of milk. Now we don't use powdered milk because ours is, we're not preppers, we're a working pantry so ours is just getting us through to the next cycle and we don't have a, we don't harvest powdered milk so um, I, so I'm excluding this one from ours. Um, we will, uh, we use, we have some condensed milk on hand uh, but milk is, is not a necessity and it's kind of nice to have but it's not a necessity so um, there are some great things that you can do with milk and dairy products are wonderful. Uh, if you have access to the milk and the cows, but uh, but we'll we'll buy the milk and have fresh milk before we'll be doing powdered milk. I'm just not a fan of powdered milk, and and that's okay if you are. Uh, I'm just not. 90 pounds of fruits and vegetables. Now I don't know how they calculated this out, but that seems to be an equation with the rest of theirs. So if you said, okay, so we needed 100 pounds of grain, then probably an equivalent amount of fruits and vegetables is, is adequate um, per person. So um, I, would, I would guess that that's right, but I haven't done like a nutritional analysis on this. Um, but fruits and vegetables obviously are important. Obviously, remember that you're looking for the weight of the interior contents of the can, uh, and you actually need the weight of the um, food itself rather than like the syrup that the peaches are stored in, right? The syrup is not good for you. It's got a lot of sugar in it, and that's not what you're that's, – that's got calories, but it doesn't have nutritional value. Um, 90 pounds of beans and legumes per person. Again, that seems pretty excessive uh, because beans expand so much. So 90 pounds of beans is – are roughly about four or five gallon buckets full of beans. That is a lot of beans per person. I'll tell you, we don't go through that many per year. 
uh, for our whole family. Um, and, uh, you know, we have, you know, at any given time, we'll have a bucket of like black beans and black eyed peas and uh, red beans and, and several others. Um, and we'll have these buckets of beans and we just use them for general cooking. We use them quite a bit, um, but we certainly don't go through 90 pounds in a year. Uh, some of our beans are, are, are been in the, the pantry there for you know a year or two um, and and they're not even you know a quarter used up yet. So um, we don't use that much. They also recommend 60 pounds of sugar per person. Now this is ridiculous. Um, that one is way, way, way wrong. Um, unless you have a really bad sweet tooth and, and you're trying to get yourself diabetes, um, 60 pounds per person is, is pretty high. We go through, I'll tell you what we do, we have two five-gallon buckets. Each five-gallon bucket holds roughly uh, 25 pounds of sugar. Um, and we have two of those. And for our family of five, we go through about one of those, I'd say, every eight months or so. Um, and uh, at the most, uh, that's if my daughter is doing a lot of baking. She likes to bake. If she doesn't do much baking, we don't use hardly any sugar. And uh, pretty soon we'll have those, actually, the, we'll be done with granulated sugar. We'll have one five-gallon bucket of, of good quality granulated sugar, and then the rest of them will actually do with honey um, once we once our bees start producing for us. So um, that is really, really high per person. I would say you need two five-gallon buckets of sugar uh, per family per year. That seems to be a lot more uh, reasonable. So anyways, um, I just want to share this with you guys and kind of let you know um, this is, I don't know if these people are experts, I don't have any idea what their background is, that's just a list they put together, and it pops up real high on Google, so obviously it's somewhat popular. I'll post this all down in the description. If you all have any questions or any comments, uh, anything that you think is wrong in here, somebody that's done more analysis on this, post it down in the comments. Post a link if you've got a page that shows where to go with this. Uh, happy, I'll approve it. If it's, if, it's a, if it's a spam link, I won't approve it. Uh, but if it's a good link, I'll definitely approve it. So, um, anyways, guys, really appreciate y'all watching. We will talk to y'all later. Make sure and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It does help us out quite a bit. And we'll catch y'all in the next video.